Welcome to the Solaris Vision Revealed. I'm Linda Pacini. I'm Mike Johns. And I'm Patty Marty. And we are here today to show off our favorite top of the line machine, the Baby Lock Solaris Vision. And we're gonna have a conversation, right Patty and Mike? Yeah. I think that what we are super excited about is showing off the features that not only were in the Solaris, but also a lot of the brand new features that are in the Solaris Vision. So hold on to your hats, because this is gonna be an awful lot of fun. What is one of your favorite features that we added to the Vision, Mike? Well, you know, I think uh, Patty and I have been stitching on this for a while. So have you, you know, we've all been stitching on this for a while. And it's so funny because we've all landed in like little different zones that we're playing with. I've been kind of latching on to the fact that I get to use palette more involved with this, but also we have those new long stitch category. And I love that. It's such a really cool feature because it kind of breaks the rules of embroidery, which I kind of like when we get to do that a little you bit. You are a rule yeah, breaker. Absolutely. Okay, how about you, Patty? Yeah, well, I've been playing a lot with the yarn couching, so <laughs> I, it's a joke now that thread is, <laughs> yarn is the new thread, is my saying. So uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that. And not only just using those, those letters as letters, but using the yarn couching letters as shapes and being able to turn them into some really cool things and having a lot of fun. I keep treat, treating it like it's punch embroidery, needle punch embroidery. Yeah, so. well you certainly have totally exceeded anybody's expectations about what the machine can do. And I've loved all the samples that Patty's been working on. <laughs> and so for me personally, I would say that I'm a sewer by nature. And so I love, it's the little things. To me, it's just the ease of being able to use a machine. And I like to say you're working smarter, not harder. And so one of my very top features is right next to you, Mike, and that's the new multifunction foot control. And I think what I love about it is that it really helps me command my machine without having to do an awful lot of touching of the machine. So it becomes such a fluid part of my sewing. So I love setting it up so that I've got the trim feature. I love being able to have my machine sew in reverse and lock stitches. And you can even adjust it on the fly by just going into the settings menu. So to be fair, I think that that's one of my favorite features. Right. And it does have that brand new, really long cord. <laughs> which we keep which saying because we we're tall. <laughs> yeah. Are you tall people? Yeah. Our tall people. So, or, or if you like to stand up and sew, right? Because if you are got your um, machine up pretty high and you need that extra length, you didn't have that before now. You really do. And I love how tidy it is. When you're not using it, just wrap it in the back. There you go. And the little sidecar can be on either side, which is really adaptable, mm -hmm. right? For anybody yeah. that's using it. And it's it. nice, too, because it's got a little bit more of an ergonomic design, too. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to... Just get your foot on there and start sewing. No doubt. I think it's the customization. And I do believe that, you know, when you start talking about a machine that has this much ability, the best thing to do is to start by talking about it in segments. So let's kind of finish up with that whole sewing conversation. Mike, I love our home screen. I love the ability to make a choice. When you sit down to sew, what is it that you want to do primarily? And for me, if I'm going into sewing, this is where I begin. And so with the touch of a button, I'm in the sewing features of the machine. And I have to point out our brand new tapering stitch um, yeah. functionality. And I think that when it comes to being able to get stitching to go exactly where you want it to go. The tapering feature really allows you to ease in and out of a stitch. And there's three different ways that you can get tapering to go where you want it to go. I love the fact that we can use the end point sewing stickers. And I think it's something that most people don't even know what that is. So you want to talk about it, Patty? Yeah, so the endpoint sewing sticker is a little sticker that works with the projector and the camera, and the machine's going to find exactly where you want your stitching to end. So you basically just place the sticker where you want the endpoint, and the machine's going to find that, recognize it, and it's going to stop right there for you. Yeah, that, that's a magical thing for oh, me. And I know, Mike, you played around with the tapering stitches quite a bit. What are your thoughts on I it? I have, yeah. So, you know, I like to think of how we can use a feature outside of the norm of what that feature normally would. So um, when I started seeing the taper stitches, to me, it was embroidery on the sewing side. So I actually took the stitches themselves because we've got 20 different stitches that are in here. You still have control over everything like your width, your length, all of those things, the position it is in the actual foot itself. And I started creating actual stems and leaves of flowers using just the tapering stitches. And it's kind of like I'm making embroidery, but I'm doing it without a digitized right. embroidery design. I'm just doing it right there on the sewing side. And it's so freeing because it's almost like free motion quilting, but you're actually doing 
shall we say, free motion embroidery? I don't know if that, can we coin that term and say that's <laughs> I what think it is? Can. Yeah. Well, so. you know that I was so captivated by the sample that you did. And the thing that I love about it is that when we have product and we want to showcase all the things that you can do with it, we do a very good job in education. So let's just talk for a minute. You guys manage a Facebook closed community for baby lock machine owners. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so we have our Solaris Facebook group, which is our Solaris Facebook community. And so if you're an owner of the Solaris, you can register to join. And Mike and I have been doing, uh, Mike's been doing Monday Minutes for quite a while. And so those are just on some of the littlest features in the machine that you may have forgotten about, or maybe you just didn't even have discovered right. it yet. And yeah. so we, we talk about those. And then we also have been doing, with the new Solaris Vision, we've been doing a Friday features and really talking about some of the cool new features and going into a little bit more detail than we could uh, in, in some of our regular Facebook Lives. So, yeah. You know, so we've, we've got a lot of things out there and we're there too to help you. So if people have questions, there's a great community of users as well as baby lock experts and our educators as well that are out there to help answer those questions. Yeah, I love that. And for those of you who might be looking at all of the things that we're talking about and you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's great if you've got all your day long to immerse yourself in a machine. And that's, I, I don't think I'd be able to do that. I can tell you without a doubt, those little small pieces of just learning your machine and you can do it at your own pace between our SOED video library and with the way that we come in contact with our customers, it really and truly means that you're going to get the most out of your machine without any doubt. Well, a lot of times too, when you buy your machine, you're gonna get lessons through your retailers, but you might not use that feature for a while. So it's just great to have a refresher from time to time on those little features. Yeah, and thanks for reminding me about that because our strong retailer network is one of the reasons why we're able to introduce such great product because we know that we've got people that you meet with every single day that you can come in and ask questions and they're gonna be able to answer them for them. No doubt about it. And we record all this stuff too. So even on the Facebook Lives, if you miss the Facebook Live, which we love for people to join us live because you can ask questions on mm -hmm. the spot right there, but we also keep them in the actual group. So once the live is over with, it's archived right there in the group. So, you know, you can always go back and maybe you have that feature that you haven't used in a while. Yeah. You can go back and say, has there been a Facebook Live on this? And look for it and you can sit down and watch it. And those are fairly short. Yeah. Our many minutes are usually less than 10 minutes and our Friday features have been about 15, 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, very pretty good. easy to kind of catch up. I agree. So the next thing that I want to talk about is our compact digital dual feed. And this little foot is a mighty, mighty partner yeah. when you are doing something like channel quilting on your machine, or if, for example, you want to do something that adds a lot of dimension and embellishment. I absolutely love couching over threads with it because you can use decorative stitches at the same time that you're feeding your fabric. And well, it just really and truly does make everything that you're making by hand turn out to be something really beautiful and uniquely you. I love this too. And the really, the, in case people are wondering, well, what's the difference in this actual digital dual feed and the one that we've had for a while now, they're the same except for their profile. Their actual body is a little bit different. And if you kind of look, it's kind of tapered up here in the back. And what that does is it solves one of the problems that we've actually ran into in the past. And that is, it's gonna keep my fabric from bunching up underneath the actual digital dual feed unit itself. Yeah. So it's gonna allow your fabric, especially those thicker fabrics, or when we're doing those decorative stitches, it's gonna allow them to flow a little bit more freely mm -hmm. underneath there. I love the digital dual feed too though, because a lot of people don't realize that we can engage and disengage that digital dual feed on the side just by turning this little switch here. So when it's facing down, the belt on the motor uh, for the digital loop feed is engaged. If I pull it up, it's disengaged. So if I'm working on a project that I need both sides of it on, I don't have to worry about taking this on and off constantly. I can just literally engage and disengage just by having it there. But we do have to remind everybody, it needs to be plugged in. <laughs> yeah, and that's a good point. Yeah. And the moment that you plug it in, your machine is going to show you which stitches can and cannot be used with it. And so this is a wonderful way for the machine just helping you do a good job. Right, and one of the things with the Upgrade 3 and the Solaris Vision is that more stitches now are available exactly. with the Compact Digital Dual Feed Foot, which is awesome because if you're in the quilting menu, all of those stitches, I think, except for one, one, is available to use, which is great because there's all different types of soles. So instead of feet, we call them soles for the digital dual feet foot that you can use. So you've got things like your quarter inch piecing foot, your stitch in the ditch foot, an open toe foot. There's also some quilt bars and things like that that can be used with it. And then like Linda said, that yarn couching foot is great for just adding some dimension to your project as I well. Agree. And if they have the soles from the actual mm -hmm. original digital dual feet, 
they fit on this as well. Yeah, so that's a good you're not reminder. having to reinvest in those. Correct. They're the same same soles for both both feet. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the things that I would say that I'm most impressed with for a lot of baby lock machines is just the simply the fact that you have the ability to use the left right shift so that you can actually move where the stitch itself falls in relation to the foot. But then after you've made that adjustment, you have five memory pockets for every single stitch in the utility stitch menu so that you can save your favorite stitch properties any single time that you go along. And it's super easy to retrieve. It's super easy to add. And I just think that that makes it really very compelling for somebody who wants to stitch the way they want to stitch. I agree. One of the things too we should point out is that left right shift becomes really important as does the mirror button because when you look at our stitch menu, a lot of them are going to be left justified. And then you kind of look and you go, well, where's the right justified? Well, that's your mirror button. All you have to do is click on the mirror button and everything that was left justified now becomes right justified, which is a really nice quick little shortcut to get ever into that other justification. Great when you're doing things like zippers or when you're um, insetting sleeves and you need to get closer to that edge or whatever the case may be. Yeah, no doubt. One of the things that I don't want to forget to mention is that beautiful large beauty case that houses all of the feet that come with the machine along with a lot of the different accessories that are going to be a part of your day-to-day -day sewing. I love the fact that it's big enough that it can hold everything, but I also love that it fits really comfortably within the arm of the machine there so that you have access to everything. It's, it's the little details on everything about it, whether you're winding a bobbin and you get to pick how much thread you want to go on that bobbin. I love our never miss needle threader with the touch of a button, you're threading a needle and you know, that's moving into embroidery territory when you start talking about changing threads a lot. Well, I even love too, like in that box, when you talk about it, it's little things, that lid being hinged, it just hinges open so you can easily access everything and close it up. Same thing with the lid on the machine. I love the fact that you can just open it and it gives you that little tray. It doesn't actually get removed anymore. It's something that stays there as part of the machine and you can use that to store all your extra thread or to use the spool stand yep. to be able to use maybe larger cones of thread with your sewing or with your embroidery. Yeah, that two thread spool stand really comes in handy, especially for people who really wanna use a large cone of thread or if you're doing that couching, you definitely yes. want to drape your thread <laughs> in that way. And so we can use decorative yarn and threads when we're in embroidery as well. I think this is a perfect time to start yeah. talking about how easy it is to convert your machine from a sewing machine to embroidery machine. And by the way, we don't have to take the embroidery yes. unit off when we want to sew. You can just keep it on. So this is a big machine. And whether you want to go right from sewing to embroidery or back again, it's just a simple touch of a button. So Mike, let's... Go ahead and do that. Do we need to remove that arm or we're just going to no, go ahead and let the no. machine do its thing? Yep. It's just going to warn us because it's going to move the arm. Our machine is so considerate, right? I mean, it really <laughs> is. It's always going to tell you whenever it's going to move. And it does that just because, you know, if you're like me, you probably have 10,000 spools of thread sitting around. You no, have all your sewing notions. <laughs> so it keeps you from knowing, mm -hmm. yeah, your coffee. Um, but it lets you know that it's going to move so that you can kind of look around and say, is everything okay? Am I going to knock anything off? And then once it actually cycles like this, it's also going in and making sure everything's lined up. So once we go into embroidery design, everything is going to be where it's supposed to be because that's one of the great things about embroidery on the machine is that placement, right? We always have such easy ways of doing our placement here. And uh, what a lot of people may not realize is when you bring an embroidery design into a baby lot machine, it's perfectly centered in the hoop, which is a huge plus, right? I don't have to worry about where it's going to land. So no matter what size hoop I have on, it's going to be perfectly centered in that hoop, which is amazing. Yeah. So let's let's just start because Patty, you're kind of our embroidery expert internally oh, because we both you are. Spend, <laughs> you both are true, true. But let's let's just talk a little bit about what are some of the things that somebody could expect to find in the vision that they maybe didn't have in the original Solaris or even in the Solaris 2? Yeah, so some of the things that are new is there's some new designs. So there's a, a category of some of the common designs that they've added some beautiful applique designs and also some motif stitches and some other complementary designs that go with another category. And though those are, a lot of those designs are set to work with our 10 by 10 embroidery hoops. So they're made to work with a new optional magnetic embroidery frame, which is really cool. Which I happen to have. Which Mike happens yeah. to have. So this is an impressive, impressive yes. tool, right? Yeah, I love these. I know yeah. we've been using them a mm -hmm. lot. And if you've been with us for a while, you may remember we've, we've launched a previous one, which this one came out whenever we launched the Solaris 2. Mm -hmm. And then now we've got the 10 by 10. And what I really like about these is that they're not flat magnets, right? If you've ever used a magnetic frame and you've noticed that it's flat, ours are not flat. Ours are actually 
tinted. They're actually kind of an upside down V and so is the base. So when you put your item on here, it's there. It's not going to slip out of here. It's not going to move. And 10 by 10 is just such a cool size. I, know, I it's love a great that. Size yeah. quilting, great size. Right? Yeah. And in case you're wondering why we have uh, bubble wrap in here, this is how we recommend you store your hoops, right? This is going to keep your magnets from being in contact with the base. So uh, just keep that bubble wrap that comes with your package. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to store it. If you lose a bubble wrap, put a piece of fabric in there yep. or batting. And, and it's great for quilting, but it's also great for jean jackets and I use it on towels and all yeah. things, sorts of things. So such a versatile hoop. Absolutely. Yeah. When you've yeah. got a machine with this much capability, you want to stretch whatever it is that you're embroidering on and you want to embroider on everything <laughs> because it's just so easy to use. So other than new designs, there is so many other things that I know that you can do with embroidery for the vision. You want to talk about some of that, Patty? Yeah, so some of the newest creative type of embroidery that's out there is the yarn couching like we talked about. And that, again, we've had yarn couching on our machine that came with the upgrade one that was added on. And that came with a Y foot and a yarn couching guide that would help you to like feed the yarn in. And those were all kind of open and airy designs. So they were just kind of single runs of an outline. And so you typically had flowers, some animals, some hearts, some different shapes and things like that. What we've added now is there's a whole alphabet and they're not just outline alphabet, they're actually fills. So they really give you that whole, like I said, that punch needle look. So we've been taking those and putting fun sayings on sweatshirts, on jean jackets. We've been using them in all sorts of way, but then I've been having fun again, using them as a shape. So looking at the eye as just a straight line and connecting things together, using several of the other features built into the machine to really make the embroidery seamless and make it all kind of stitch in a certain direction. So there's less trims and things like that and really kind of create some fun, fun designs and combine it with IQ Designer and combine it with some of the decorative fills and things like that too. So there's a lot of fun that can be had with that, that part of it. Yeah, I, honestly, the stuff that you've been coming into the office with and showing to all of us here has really made us think, I don't know how creative you are, but like it's off the charts because you're taking something that was meant to be a certain thing, but you've really stretched capability. And with all the different photographs that you guys have just seen about it, just know that the sky's the limit. I think the longer that it's out, who knows? Maybe we'll figure out a way to be able to make more designs. I know. And do I'm already like, we need with. these shapes already <laughs> built in there. So yeah, yep. Yeah, it's lots a lot of fun. Of fun. Yeah, and then I don't know, the other ones that I know, like Mike said he loves, there's the long stitch designs, which are also another fun creative outlet to mm. be able to to really create unique embroidery, nothing like we've ever had before. Yeah, they're very reminiscent of two different things, like string art, that was so popular for a while. It's actually making a big comeback. I'm seeing mm -hmm. that everywhere, yeah. string art. Mm -hmm. And the other is one of my favorite uh, toys as a kid was, do you remember the Spirograph? Of course. Yeah, so it's very, it looks very similar to a Spirograph. So um, what's really neat about it is we've preached for so long about the fact that we don't have long floating stitches. Well, throw that out the window because now we have long floating mm -hmm. stitches. Um, and it stitches so, so uniquely how it actually creates. And one of the things is, is that you don't have to worry about any of the settings in your machine because it automatically sews down the machine. It automatically knows that you're doing long stitch. It automatically knows how to actually handle that and how to make those stitches so that they stay in place. But so much fun to be had with those. Yeah, yeah. and I love that because both for the yarn couching and for those long stitch designs, the machine is really smart. It does slow it down. It does raise your presser foot. It makes those adjustments for you. So you don't have to be super smart. The machine's going to take care of you. And the other thing I love too is that if you're really trying to learn this or you want to know how to set your machine up, I love that our machines have built-in videos as well. I mean, there's so many times that I've used a tutorial on how to set up the yarn couching just to make sure that I've got the foot on correctly and have everything set up properly. And it's great too because if it's somebody, if you're new to some of these techniques, it's just awesome to know that you have that security blanket built into the machine that you can always reference. Yeah, no doubt. I'm sewing at night when maybe yes. my retailer is not open. And so definitely you want to be able to turn to that. So I like the fact that you even have an instruction manual that's included inside of the machine that you can reference and find quite easily. I love that. Right. So I, we haven't touched upon it, but I think that for a lot of people that really have gotten confused in the past about, well, I've got designs in my computer. I don't know how to get them to my machine. Like how complicated is it for the Solaris Vision? Well, there's several different ways. You've got options on how you can bring designs over. One of them, though, is you can obviously put something onto USB and bring it over and import your designs that way. But the other way is that this machine, since the, the first Solaris, has had uh, Wi-Fi capabilities. So that means that you can transfer designs wirelessly, either using the Palette 11 software and transfer the designs over that way, or you can use the new free design database transfer program as well. So that's also great. So it's just a great way to be able to 
seamlessly send designs right over to the machine. I, I think it's even the things that we've gotten kind of used to on the machine that I love. The fact that you can make your designs up to 200% bigger, 60% smaller, it recalculates your stitches. And that's not just for designs that are built in. It's anything that you introduce, either Wi-Fi or if you bring it in through a USB. Between that and color sorting, I have to say, those are two top features. And then Patty, we know customers get into like a color coma, right? Yeah, yeah. So you also have a program called Color Visualizer which lets you take a design, again, one you've brought in or one that's already built in the machine and you can see it in different color hues. You can see it in soft palette, you can see it in a bright palette. You can actually select or pin some of the colors that you want and it'll show you that design in those colors. So it takes away kind of the guesswork of what your design's yeah. gonna look like. And while they may not seem like a big feature, I have to tell you, I have used that more than I would want to admit, especially for designs where you're looking for a good gradation of color. It really does a good job of suggesting it. I love the fact that you can see it up close. And there's other things that you can do with stitches that I really, really like. You wanna talk about some of those things? Yeah, some of the things that I love playing with, especially when I've been doing the yarn couching, is I've been playing a lot with resequencing. One of the things that we added with the Solaris too is the ability to resequence design. So it won't actually change the colors within a design, but I can actually take multiple designs and I can reorder how they're going to be stitched out. So in the past, we've always been able to use our, our plus minus needle, you know, key to be able to advance stitches or advance through different sections. Now we can do that kind of on our own by resequencing the way the designs stitch out. So and along those same lines, one of the things that Mike and I have been having a lot of fun with playing with too is the fact that we can turn things off about our deselect region. Yeah, and the thing about deselect region that's a little bit different than our design resequencing feature is like Patty said, the design resequencing only works with multiple designs because we have to have more than one design there. But for deselect region, what we can do is we can just have one design on the screen and say there's a part of that design we don't like. Well, we just simply turn it off. And that way we're actually able to work with just one design as opposed to a bunch of designs. So it's so cool because like I said, we did used to do the plus minus and we yeah. would skip through, but now I can just turn it off ahead of time and not even worry about it. Right? And it's so visual because it right on screen, you can see those elements disappear, which gives you a really good opportunity of seeing what you're actually going to be stitching, which I think is a very big deal. Absolutely. And one of the other things that I love to use is there's a, a stitch simulator preview. It's a mm -hmm. mouthful, but what it allows you to do is actually go in and you take your design, you select it, and you press a play button, and it actually is gonna show you exactly how your design is gonna stitch out. And that's just really cool, because maybe you do need to then resequence something or move things around. You kind of get a sense of where your needle's gonna go for your embroidery. It's really cool. Well, I love that you said that because one of the things that we always tell people with teaching is that you should stitch it out before you go to your real project. Well, here you get to st you pretend stitch it out mm -hmm. and you get the same result. You get to see what you're actually going to end up with. Well, I have to say the Solaris Vision is full of so many different editing features. And one of my all time favorites is being able to do borders and having your machine do that repetition so simply and you can get things exactly where you want them to go because we've got some wonderful placement capability. And I have to tell you, whether it's projecting an image actually onto your fabric or scanning it, I don't know which is my favorite. Yeah, I love that this machine has the IQ Visionary projector and the camera. Yeah, and I like the. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a little biased. I'm. Gonna, I like the projector the best. <laughs> okay. It's because there's something about seeing your actual design right on your fabric. How can you not have perfect placement every single time with that? I yeah. love that, and I love the fact that our machine actually takes the camera and the projector and combines it with some of the new features that are actually in the machine yep. as well. So yes. we've actually had the quilt border feature on the machine since the launch of the Solaris One. But when we did the upgrade, we actually changed that to the enhanced quilt border feature, which is where the projector became part of that. And now we actually have a wide variety of different kinds of quilt borders that we can do all the way from just rectangular and square single color. We now have double color so that there's two different colors of thread in each border. And now we have hexagon borders so that you're doing those hexi quilts, those 60 degree quilts, you can do those. And it actually uses the projector to make sure that we're actually doing that so that it winds up, even though it's in sections, it looks like someone did it on a long arm. Yeah, so I mean, honestly, when you start talking about the machine in that way, Mike, right away I'm thinking this is a whole lot smaller than a long arm yeah. machine <laughs> in your sewing room. And what you could say is like, this is buying, three, maybe even four machines in one. Absolutely, yeah. Because we can not only do just small projects here, but especially like for our enhanced quilt border feature, 
we can go all the way up to a king size quilt. Which is crazy. That's insane, right? Yeah. And and all it is is a little bit of fabric management because we're working obviously on a flatbed machine, but we'll help you with that too. We have wonderful koala cabinets yes. that our machines can actually sink down into to give you big workspaces or things like that. So I love the fact that we can take different parts of the machine, combine them together to make it even better. But we actually introduced a new thing under this category and now we actually can do edge to edge quilting designs on the machine and they're found in the same category as our enhanced quilt border features, but now we have 10 beautiful edge to edge designs and it's going to walk you through the process of connecting this all the way from one side to the other. It's gonna take advantage of the actual projector and it's gonna just That's show you slight. as a, it is incredibly cool. And I've had so much fun playing with this because it's one of those things that you're sitting down going, well, you know, I own a long arm. I can do this on my long arm. Exactly. But sometimes I'm just like, do I want to wrap the backing? Do I want to put the padding? Do I want to do this? Well, I can just make a quilt sandwich, mm -hmm. sit down in front of my machine, and next thing you know, I've done it all with the computerization and the projector, and it's just flawless. And it looks just like long arming, which is awesome. I agree. And with that magnetic frame, honestly, oh it's gosh. super easy to put a sandwich quilt in there and do it. I know that when I played around with that feature, it, it was it was actually shocking to me how beautiful it was. I love the manipulation that you could do. Like a lot of times when people look at a quilting design, you just think of it as just being repeated side by side. But here, <laughs> you get to move things around a little bit. See, so yeah. it looks a little bit different each time. Yeah, because you can flip them, you can rotate them, you can do different things with them so it doesn't give you that real, you know, planned look. You kind of yeah. have it look more like it was done on a long arm with automation. And no what's doubt. really great about it is if you do happen to get in a bind, right? We give you the tools to back out of it and actually fix it so that it winds up looking yeah. exactly how it should have looked in the first place. And um, in a lot of our videos and stuff, we intentionally do that. We intentionally yes. mess something up <laughs> so that we can show you how to go in and fix it. And that's one of the nice things is that that's already been thought about, yeah. right? It's not an afterthought. It's actually in the beginning, it's, it separates it out so that we have all of the pits and pieces to where if we need to come back and correct something yeah. because what's a project that you haven't used a seam ripper on, right? Oh, I mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I love it too, because if you're doing a king size quilt and maybe you're, you're ready to go to bed at the end of the night and you are in the middle yeah. of doing your project, one of the things that's really cool that's on all of our embroidery machines is that you could actually comfortably and safely turn the machine off and when you come back on it, it's gonna automatically resume right back to where you left off. So yeah. that's, that's cool whether you're in the <laughs> middle of a project or the electricity goes out or your pet walks by and unplugs your machine, our machines will always auto resume when you're in the middle of embroidery. Yeah, you know, it's so funny because a few things that we talked about, you know, being able to project a design and get it exactly where you want it to go or even being able to find your way back in a design. I mean, those were super skills that I developed over years. Yep. And now you can do it, if even if this is your very first embroidery machine, you're gonna be ultra successful. And I love that because this is such a visual machine you really get to see what it is that you're going to do before you do it and I, I love that about it because I think it's a confidence builder and for a lot of people you know you might be thinking like oh that could be too much machine for me no it's not what it is is it's the perfect tool and if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing something and spending this much time doing it isn't it definitely something you want to do where you, it's stress-free yeah. and this is a stress-free yeah. machine yeah and so we've talked about the projector and how much Mike loves the projector. And I do love the projector too, but I'm also a big fan of the camera. Oh. And, and that's yeah. where this machine started. We've had camera technology on several of our machines and it's so impressive what you can do with the camera. You've got positioning stickers that can help you to place a design exactly where you want it to go. You can scan what's in your hoop and actually see that image projected up on the screen. It can help you, like Linda said, if you accidentally something pops out of the hoop, you can hoop it, scan it, and you can use that camera to help get exactly where you need to go yep. with that. Between that and the, pro and the projector can help with that as well. But um, one of the things that's really cool too that we are introducing with the Upgrade 3 and with the Solaris Vision is there's actually a category of design that again allow us to use those positioning stickers and use the camera technology. So they're they're called large connect designs and there's a category and there's five designs. And what this does is it takes the camera and the positioning stickers and it uses a feature that we've had in our machines called pattern connectivity with the camera. But now, just like how you do your edge to edge and how you do your borders, the machine's gonna walk you through it. So it's super impressive. slick and cool. Yeah, yes. they're beautiful designs. And they're large designs. So this machine has a 10 and 5 ace by 16 inch hoop, mm -hmm. but that takes it and kind of knocks that out of the water. And now you yeah. can you can have a design that's huge. I think some, some of them are like 28 inches by 36 mm -hmm. or so. Yep. So there's some really large designs and the machine again is gonna walk you through and guide it. 
and it's going to tell you when to rehoop, and it's going to scan things and tell you exactly where to put the positioning stickers. Absolutely. And they're a lot of fun to do, too, because they're those things that you don't really know what it's going to look like until you, each one of them is three hoopings. So, yeah. you know, you do your first hooping, and yeah. it's like, okay, that's that's all right. Then you get to the second hoop, and you're like, oh, oh. okay, this is like a goal. Get to the third hoop, and you're like, wow, I made that. That's yeah. cool, yeah. right? No so doubt. it's a lot of fun. And like Patty said, it's, it walks you through it, and yeah. it's just automatic, and you don't really have to worry about you know, is this going to line up? I mean, I've stitched all five of them now and every single one of them lined up perfect, every connection. Yeah. And it's just relying on putting the stickers down. That's well, it. and it's cool too. One of the things that we've talked about before is that those positioning stickers, not only do they help you to place it, but they're also measuring. Yeah. They're, it's, the machine is measuring to find out if you've had any fabric shrinkage or anything like that. And then if you have, it makes adjustments it to does. the design. Okay, that's crazy. I know it's crazy. It actually tells you that on the screen too, which is really cool. It'll actually say adjustments have been made. Okay. Well, okay. Thank <laughs> yeah, you very exactly. much for making me look good. Yeah, exactly. We'll be making dinner for you soon. <laughs> I know. If you can do laundry, then we'll be great. Well, you know, I mean, thinking about dinner, like, so one of the little things that I love is actually having a clock built into my machine. And so I never thought that would be a big deal, but I do lose myself so completely when I'm in my sewing studio. And so I like being able to do that. And like you were talking about, Patty, the built-in videos on the machine. I love the sewing advisor. Yeah. I love the ability to see what every single one of the stitches do and the best purpose maybe even for a buttonhole, which is the best buttonhole to use for my project, which yeah. is which is really a key thing. So I think that truly state-of-the-art, you know, a machine that has tremendous amount of technology in it, but yet it's very user-friendly. And I have always thought that that's one of the hallmarks of our brand is that we are an easy to use product with a lot of tools to be able to make everybody a success, which I like. I think we also do a really good job of predicting what could be an issue, right? Like um, Patty was mentioning earlier, pets, you know, if we've got pets around or things, you know, or we're working on that king size quilt, one of the things that can happen sometimes is as you've got all this excess fabric or anything, or you've got that furry little paw walking by, you might have them touch your screen and mess things up, but we've actually thought about that and it's built in. We can lock the screen. We can actually lock the screen. Not only can we lock the screen, but we can actually lock all of the buttons across the arm of the machine as well. So when you're working on a project, that's there for you. So it's really kind of not only making it user friendly, but making it to where we're trying to give you all of the tools that you need to make everything successful and easily successful, which I think is really cool. I agree. One of the other things I also like is that it's environmentally friendly and that there's an eco mode that you can engage so that if you're like me, you think, okay, I'm gonna get back to my machine in five minutes, and then you realize you forgot you had to go to a doctor's appointment, so the machine will shut down for you, and you can make all of those adjustments and changes yourself in the settings of the machine, which really does give you command over how you want your machine to work. Yeah, I love it that you can customize it. There's so many times I'm in the settings pages just changing things, and it might just be for one application. I might want the grid background on my screen so that I can help to line things up, and then I can easily go back and turn that off. Yeah, that and making the background color different. Yeah. So if you've got lace designs that are white on a white background, <laughs> now you can change that color so you can see things. Yeah. All of those are really good changes. So let's talk about the thing that most people didn't know that they wanted. Mm -hmm. And once they start playing around with it, they realize like this is really the reason you buy a machine of this capability. And that's IQ Designer. Yeah, so IQ Designer is, I, I think it was a game changer when we first introduced it. It was one of those things that, like you said, not everybody, everybody was like, well, what is it? I don't know what that is. What do I do with it? And I think now as we've gotten people accustomed to IQ Designer, they're like, give me more, give me mm -hmm. more, give me more. But IQ Designer, um, our third category on our home screen, what this is, is, is an onboard uh, digitizing and editing program that's right there on your machine. You know, we have so many people who are like, well, I'll never buy software because it's too much. I'm not going to do that. I don't know computers. I'm not comfortable with computers. Great. We've got you covered. We're going to have it right here on the screen. And there's so many things that we can do with IQ Designer. I mean, we teach entire classes on just IQ Designer because we can take, we can use our camera to scan design or scan artwork in and just have the machine auto digitize it for us. So think about that. I could take my niece and my nephew's coloring book pages, put them on our scanning frame, put them into the machine, scan it one time, and within a matter of just a minute or two, I can stitch their work out. And it looks just like what they drew, which is amazing. But one of the things that a lot of people are using IQ for is embellishing designs they've already got or using it for quilting or background stitches, things like that. And when we first launched uh, IQ Designer, correct me if I'm wrong on this, I think the very first intonation we had five 
background fills. We were talking about this the other day. I think we had, there was the regular standard fill and the stipple fill. I think that, that was, was it. it. Okay. Yeah. And then we added, I think the first category had five of the decorative yeah. fills. Yeah. Now we're up to actually 48 decorative background fills that are built into this machine. So what that means is that's 48 different ways that I can customize a project that I'm working on to make it my own. But that's actually an understatement of the number that's in there because each one of those is customizable in and of itself. We can change the shape, we can change the size, we can distort it. I like right. the fun we house mirror We can effect. layer them. We can layer them, yeah. We can do all kinds of things with them. But we've added six new ones to the launch of the Vision, or if you're doing upgrade three, we've got six new designs. But we're doing something that's a little unique yeah, now, and this is so fun, and that is for those that have Palette version 11, which is our digitizing software, they can actually take and create their own decorative background fill stitches and they can actually bring that in to IQ Designer and they can save it into IQ Designer. And now not only do they have the 48 that are in there, but they're gonna have 12 memory slots so they can add their own in there. And that's just, I mean, how can you get more personalized and more customized than that? And I just think that is so amazing and so cool. And you know, if someone doesn't have palette or they're not comfortable with palette, maybe you got a friend who's got palette. Right, and if they have palette, maybe they can do some designs for you. It has to be transferred by USB. That's the one feature that doesn't work via Wi-Fi. We have to do it via USB. But it's such a neat thing to actually go in. And we've had so much fun making samples and stuff where we are matching the decorative background fill to whatever the project is. Yeah, you've really done some neat things with that, Mike. And I think that the word that comes to my mind is limitless. Right. And then when I think about how unique people are and how they interpret a feature of the machine or what it is that they're trying to come up with, this is truly where you get to become a designer. You really get to, you know, play around to your heart's content, make something that's uniquely expressive of who you are or maybe the person that's receiving the gift that you make. Absolutely. And I think too, the thing about this is, is it's it's going to push your imagination. Yes. And really, I think that's what our whole point of doing embroidery, sewing, creating, crafting, whatever it is that's your jam, so to speak, yeah. is it's pushing our imagination, pushing our creativity. And the more that we can bring that into our machines, the better off we're going to be. Because, you know, we all three have this machine and we all three have been stitching on it for a while now. And it's so funny because we come in every day talking about, well, look what I did last night. The other two of us go, I would have never thought of that. That's yeah. so cool. Well, that's but that's cool. one yeah. of the cool things about mm -hmm. it is that it's not cookie cutter. Is that the right word that I yeah. want to use there? I think is not everybody's going to come out with the exact same project right. off of what they have sitting in their craft room, their living room their dining room table because we all know that's where a lot of these <laughs> machines wind up but you know I love that but we mentioned that we can do that with the decorative background fills but what's really cool is we also can do it with our motif stitches so yeah. over on IQ um, I think it was back with Destiny 2 I think it was we actually introduced 10 motif stitches that could be used on our line type stitches I may have that wrong but I think it was Destiny 2 but um, that really hasn't changed we've had those same 10 motif stitches ever since. And the nice thing is now with this um, upgrade to the Solaris Vision or upgrade three, you can actually do the same thing with the background stitches and the motif stitches. So inside of palette, there's 90 plus built in motif stitches already. So even if you don't want to design motif mm -hmm. stitches, you can just bring one over that already exists and you can bring those in. So there's 12 slots that you can add those in. So instantly you went from 10 to 22 to actual infinity because you can make your own or you can pull them out of palette, which is a lot of fun. Well, the thing that's nice too is you do have those 12 spots, but if you want to bring in your 13th one, it's going to ask you, hey, you're bringing in one, which one do you want to lose? So sure. you basically can just take that off, but you've got them saved somewhere on your computer yep. from palette, so you can always access them yeah. and bring them back in. As long as you keep them in palette or keep them somewhere, they're yeah. there, right? And, yeah. and a lot of people will say, well, why can't I just do everything in palette? You can, right? You can absolutely do your entire design in palette, but there's some things that maybe if I'm designing, you know, we've got that shape creation yes. tool that's over on the embroidery side, which is such a strong tool to have in our arsenal, right? I don't have that in palette, right? I right. don't really have that feature in palette. I kind of do, but it takes more steps. But if I'm working on the machine and I'm trying to do something fast and quick and easy just to kick out a gift or what have you, it's so nice just to have it built into the actual IQ designer section of my machine and just do it all in one sitting, never having to open my computer, right? Which I really, really love that. 
We've got some other improvements that have happened in IQ Design as well. Um, we've done a lot of labeling of features, which we didn't have before. So now when we're talking about some of our built-in shapes, things like that, we've actually numbered them. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but that's a big deal. Uh, yeah, it's a big deal <laughs> from a teaching <laughs> yeah, standpoint, yeah, that's for sure. Nice. Yeah, because we can say, okay, we're gonna be using shape number six, as opposed to go down three rows, go <laughs> over two, and find that one. Yeah, and if somebody's yeah, changed yeah. the size of their thumbnails, and for instance, if you're trying to get somebody to an embroidery design, that's always been an yeah, issue. Like, absolutely. what size is your thumbnail? <laughs> which yeah. one is it how many in a row yeah, yeah. there's no there's some things i mean we do have that customization but that customization can sometimes especially if you're a teacher can come back and make it a little bit more uh, okay what does yours look like but yeah. so we've added that and then one of the things that i am really excited about is we can resize in iq designer just like we can over in the embroidery side the difference is when we're in iq designer we're working with artwork we're not working with stitch designs or stitch files and when we were doing the resize prior to the vision or upgrade three we were kind of having to sit there and just tap on a button to get it to the size that we want. It was a repeated right. kind of process. Now we don't have to do that. Now we can actually type in actual size increments. So we could, if we needed a six inch square, we could type in six yep. inch high, six inch yep. wide, and it's yep. there and we're ready to go, which yeah. I love that. I it's, do too, because then if you envision a certain hoop that you're gonna do, because right. you know that you're limited by size constraints, now you can really work smart, not hard, and exactly. I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. I think that's our mantra around here, it right? It is it's work smart, not harder. Mm -hmm. We say that so much. Yeah, and, that, and that'll work on the shapes that are in the machine, but it'll also work on artwork that you maybe scanned or imported with a JPEG. So that's right, yeah. it works on all of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this, to me, is a game changer. Yeah, yeah I'm so glad that yeah. you brought that up, Mike, because we've, we've interacted with our screen. You know, you can touch it with hands. I mean, that doesn't matter at all. Right. And we've had a stylus that was just the plastic stylus, and then that multifunction right. stylus, which I love, especially when it comes to sewing, yes. because you can take control over your machine, you can preview a stitch right where you're gonna be stitching it, and you can even adjust which stitch you wanna use. But yeah. in addition to that. I love this. I know um, it got a bad rap, I think, for some people, but I loved it because exactly what you said, it allowed me to do a whole lot, and it worked over on the sewing side so well. Yep. Um, it's that projector thing, right? Remember, yes. I've already said I love that projection down, and that's exactly what they did with that. And the other side of this was for touching our screen, just like we do with our fingers and stuff. And it works wonderful for that, but one of the things that we had a little bit of an issue with is when we're doing IQ Designer, a lot of times we're looking for precision, right? right? We're looking for things to be exactly in a specific place. And this has a little bit wider of a tip than what our previous um, plastic styluses did. Yep. So we had a little bit an issue with that. So what we've done now is we've actually come out with a brand new stylus and this is going to be a precision point stylus. So when we go in and we're looking at working in IQ Designer, now I'm talking specifically IQ Designer, but this would work for the entire machine. Absolutely. Right? It's not just for IQ Designer. But I find this to be the most useful in IQ because now not only is it a precision point, but if you look, that little disc at the end is clear so I can see through it and I can actually see exactly what I'm doing. And you'll see us on a lot of our education videos. We've been using this heavily mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just, I love it. It's such good. And it's the size, I know this is a silly thing to point out, but it's the size of a pen. No, it's a really so important it's, thing to yeah. point out because it feels intuitive in your yeah, hand. It does, it feels right. And we're already writing up in the air, which is a little weird. So. <laughs> right. But now if we've got something that's a little bit more comfortable and we're already familiar with the way that feels, it really makes a huge difference. So the combination of these two together yep. gives you such an amount, an amazing amount of power, right? Yep. I think it's just when you right put there the in your together, little hand. I know, right? Just that <laughs> little bit, right? Lots of tools. Um, and the nice thing is, is that our the new stylus, the um, fine precision point stylus, actually does not have a battery. I Kinda love crazy. that, and yeah. it doesn't have to be charged. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to go out of the box, and it's going to be forever good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so that's wonderful. Really, really, really fun that it's included and. Don't want to make you think that you're not getting both. This is it for the vision. You're going to have both. You're going to have those. And this new stylus will be included in upgrade three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So awesome little um, additional bonus there for that, for sure. So there's so much really to love about this machine. Is there anything that we missed as we were just talking about different things? Well, I think we could all sit here and talk about the machine for the next week <laughs> and never me. shut up about it. But I think we've hit the biggest yeah, new features yeah. and stuff. I, I mean, there's some new fonts built in. Yeah. So yes. we've got great fonts and great font editing. Love it. And Mike and I keep joking that we're we're kind of font snobs. I'm a font and, snob and, too. And can I be a part of the club? You just you haven't be been on the, the calls. With the, <laughs> yeah. So yes, all three of us are font snobs. And so we're all approving the new fonts that are put in there. So I feel like they're really modern. They're really they on trend. So yeah. that's very exciting. And then we've got large letters too, which yes. we've added a few 
few of those to yeah. the Solaris Vision and the Upgrade 3. So now we've got some additional large letters and those are great too. And working with the deselect region, those oh, yeah. work really, really great together because maybe you like the split monogram yes. and you want to be able to use it, but you don't want all of the frill of the flowers. You can okay. go in and turn those off and then you've just got a, a kind of a block letter that you can add some other text or a name or something like that in between it. So. Yeah. Lots of fun with that. Lots of fun with that. How about you, Mike? Anything else that we missed that you didn't get a chance to talk about so far? You know, I love the new hoop size. I love the new 10 by 10 hoop. And, and we didn't mention it, but I think it's such a game changer. You know, we, we keep coming out with new hoops. And a lot of people will say, well, I don't need a new hoop. I've already got the biggest hoop. I've already got this hoop. I've already got that hoop. But, you know, if you do a lot of sewing like we do, right, it's always about having the right tool for the right job. And the more, t the more tools you have at your kind of disposal, so to say, the easier it gets. And I mean, I'm even the kind of person that I even have multiples of some hoops just because I may be sewing on something and at the same time I'm prepping the next thing to be sewing. I'm so glad you said that because that you just described me. And yeah. I also know from experience is that if you work with the right size of hoop, your designs come out better yes. because you've got them more stabilized more appropriately. Yes. So in, in a perfect world, You've got a hoop for just about every design, and there are so many designs that are built in to the Solaris Vision that you've got an awful lot that you can turn to. And then before we go, I have to say that we really and truly have some of the absolute best partners for Baby Lock, whether it's our Baby Lock ambassadors, whether it's our event partners, whether it's our educators and Patty, you lead that entire creative team. We came out with what I consider to be probably one of the most sought after promotions that are coming with the Solaris Vision. Do you want to talk about Visionary Stitches for a minute? Yeah. So for only a minute, like could you even minute. keep it to a minute? <laughs> I know. So this is, again, this has been a labor of love for Mike and I. We've worked really closely with our marketing team and with our, our like you said, our event partners, our educators, our ambassadors, and our internal team. So it's been kind of fun. And, and we're kind of all about community. You, you've heard our name of our Solaris Facebook group is the community, the Solaris Facebook community. And so I love that we're pulling everybody together and we're really giving you a good representation of each person and each person's personality, brand, whatever you want to call it, but everyone contributed. So it was awesome. We, we reached out and we either got people to bring in, send in artwork or digitized designs, and we put it all in a special exclusive collection that's available currently for the Vision uh, and the Upgrade 3. And I love it. It's really fun. It is, yeah. And it's I, the variants of the design styles that we have in there are amazing. We've got everything from applique to, how can we not talk about Zandra's purse? I mean, yes. Zandra Shaw, who is one of our partners, did this amazing. It's like a yeah. Chanel quilted yeah. handbag. It's insanely gorgeous. Yeah, and she, her and Mila put so much time into it. And she brought in some techniques that are not things that we've really talked about in the past, you know. Um, and uh, so she's got that wonderful handbag in there that's beautiful. We've got, you know, our ambassadors came out with some really yeah. amazing. Yeah. And one of the things that you'll see when you see this is it's the year of the bee. <laughs> it is the year of the bee. We're like, this, the Solaris <laughs> Vision is buzzing. Yeah. Everything's bees. Yes. Because we have a lot of bee projects and all. But one of the things that we really wanted to do when we did this was we wanted it to be inspirational, right? Mm -hmm. We really wanted it yeah. to be something that kind of, you know, I mentioned, get your imagination running, get your creative juices flowing and that kind of stuff. So what we've done is we've literally made a project out of every, every collection that's in there. Yeah. Now we're going to get asked right off the bat, well, do I get all those projects and samples and information? Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> because that's it. It's just inspiration, yeah. but we wanted to show you the possibilities and every one of those was created yep. on yeah. the vision, which is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And you'll see, large scale projects, small scale projects. Yeah. yeah, now our event partners did actually, all of their yes. designs, we have five event partners. So Zandra Mila, like you were talking right. about. Then we also have Kimberbells, we have OESD, Anita. Vanessa, I need a good design. We have Vanessa from, from Fabric and Vetti. And all of them have actually provided us with designs and project instructions. So a lot of them are in the who projects and different things like that. So those are wonderful that we have those project instructions. But everything else is pretty much for the most part, just an idea of how you could use it. We don't want to stifle your creativity. We want you to get inspired and do your own thing. Yeah, you bring up a good point, Patty. I really do feel like when somebody takes home a baby lock, what they're taking home is the ability to be able to just give a gift of themselves to anybody that they're sewing for. Everything that we do is really catered around you, the sewer, 
store. So we are a company of people that are passionate about sewing. We partner with people who are passionate about sewing. So if you're looking for your next destiny for an embroidery machine, I would have to tell you the Solaris Vision is definitely something that you want to take into consideration. And your local Baby Lock retailer or even who you're sitting with today will be able to help you find out the best way to be able to get into a machine like this. I have to say I'm excited about this. I'm excited about the future for Baby Lock and all of the different ways that we're going to be bringing education to all of our customers. And I appreciate so much you guys taking time away from your busy day and sewing on the vision to talk about it for all of our retailers. I hope that all of you have enjoyed getting a bigger glimpse into what the Solaris Vision could be in your sewing room. And any parting words, Patty and Mike? No, I'm just glad you guys were able to join us today and we hope that you are ex as excited about it as we are. Absolutely. Well, we can't see what you make with it. Yeah, yeah can't wait for sure. So join us on our community pages or even reach out and share your projects with us on our Baby Lock Facebook groups. We'd love to see what you've created because we're not going to stop creating for you either. It was nice visiting with all of you. Take care and we'll see you next time.